Hello. In this health sketch, we'd like to talk to you about asthma, a common condition that affects the airways and causes episodes of breathing difficulty. Asthma affects around 5% of the global population, and it is becoming more common worldwide. It often begins in childhood, but also affects adults. We don't fully understand what causes asthma, but it seems that both genetics and the surrounding environment are involved. But what exactly is asthma? Asthma affects the airways, the small tubes which transport air in and out of the lungs. Asthma occurs when the airways are more sensitive to certain triggers, so that from time to time they become narrow, inflamed and swollen, and more sticky mucus is produced. All of these changes reduce the flow of air, which leads to some or all of the following symptoms. Coughing, breathlessness, tightness across the chest, and wheezing, which is a whistling noise when breathing. Depending on the severity, these symptoms might occur every day or only on occasion. A sudden worsening of symptoms is called an asthma attack, and this can even be fatal if not promptly treated. This is why it's important to see a doctor if you think you might have asthma. Some other conditions may also cause similar breathing problems, but a doctor will be able to diagnose asthma based on your history of symptoms and through breathing tests, which are used to support diagnosis, determine severity, and monitor treatment response over time. Inhalers are the main treatment for asthma, as they deliver medication directly to your airways, helping them to expand. There are two main types of inhalers, preventer inhalers, which you take every day to help prevent symptoms from occurring over the long term, and reliever inhalers, which you use to immediately relieve symptoms as and when needed. Combination inhalers combine both types. A nurse or doctor can show you the right inhaler technique, which is important to make sure the medicine actually reaches the airways. They can also help you decide which type of inhaler device will work best for you. Apart from inhalers, another key step is to avoid the things that trigger your symptoms. These will vary from person to person, but might include cold weather, cigarette smoke, pollution, pollen, dust and mold, animal fur, chemicals in fumes, stress and anxiety, strenuous exercise, and infections like common colds or flu. Some of these triggers are unavoidable, which is why you should always carry a reliever inhaler with you. It's also important to monitor your symptoms over time. If you notice that symptoms are happening more frequently, arrange to see your doctor at the earliest opportunity, as you may need to be stepped up onto higher doses or other medications, including oral tablets. Also, remember that if an asthma attack gets worse and your inhaler doesn't seem to be helping, you must seek immediate medical attention, as stronger medications may need to be given in hospital. While there is no cure for asthma, treatment is usually very effective for controlling symptoms. These symptoms may lessen over time or even disappear for long periods, particularly in people with mild asthma, while in others, symptoms will be more severe and long-lasting. But in all cases, simple steps can make a big difference, such as stopping smoking, identifying and avoiding possible triggers, keeping fit and healthy, taking medication correctly and as prescribed, and keeping a reliever inhaler with you at all times, getting a flu vaccine every year, keeping track of symptoms, and having regular asthma checkups with a nurse or doctor. Through these steps, most people with asthma will be able to manage their condition and lead normal and healthy lives. In this health sketch, we've talked about the common breathing condition, asthma. We've described what happens to the airways, the triggers that bring it on, how it is diagnosed and treated, and how you can stay on top of it. We hope this health sketch has been useful for you and those around you. Health Sketch. Health for all to see.